cycle time on line 3 is consistently exceeding targets. Yes, the calibration seems optimal. Unit 2, divert to charging station B. Acknowledged, diverting now. Rerunning the diagnostics on the actuator. Check the stress limits on the main pivot. It's stable. We can proceed with the assembly. Make sure the AGVs on line 3 are cleared for the next shipment. We need to optimize the joint tolerances here, especially for the cranial servos. Agreed. Reroute the power flow and monitor the thermal output on the next iteration. The pressure distribution on the left plate is slightly outside the acceptable threshold during the swing phase. The RF emissions at 2.4 gigahertz are elevated during the rotation. I see that. Cross-reference with the baseline metrics.
cycle complete. Tolerances are within spec. Green light confirmed. Data uploaded. CAN bus error count is fluctuating right here. Yeah. Yes, the termination is stable, but the data rate is inconsistent. Check the Ethernet link status. This swatch isn't matching the required Delta E. We need more magenta in the mixture then. Test sequence initiated. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. A crisp, clear output is required. If we adjust the torque limiter here, we reduce the error rate by 12%. All right, apply the patch and monitor the next cycle. All right, team, execute phase one containment. Levels checking out, proceeding with suppression. All clear, stand down. It's alive. We actually did it. Congratulations. <laughs> Sensor array 13 holding steady. No ingress detected. Confirmed. Pressure levels optimal. Log the results as satisfactory. I'm thoroughly impressed with the dexterity. Yes. Absolutely, this exceeds the projected metrics we discussed. Right there, perfect. Now shoot from the left. I want to emphasize the facial design. Unit 47 is showing a power fluctuation. Increasing the dampening coefficient now. Check the readout. Stable, we have green across the board. Okay, 
tasers. Mm. The proximity sensors failed here, resulting in a class three interaction. That's the third incident this month. We need to analyze. Carefully align the interface module right there. Perfect. You've successfully stabilized the power conduit. Please confirm receipt of the beverage. Localized temperature is optimal. Confirmed. The transfer was seamless. Initiating safe shutdown sequence. Battery hold engaged. All systems report green. Data, data looks stable. Agreed. Logging the sequence now. GPU load just spiked on sector three. I see it. Cross-referencing with the training model's current epoch. The new actuator design exceeds the torque specs by 15%. But what about the thermal cycling? My data shows an anomaly right latency on the Z-Wave mesh. It's spiking during the security provisioning phase. That's unusual. Rerun the sequence on Unit 7. Wow, that was amazing! I want one! Can we do it again? back slowly, clear on the left. Okay, set it down right there, confirmed. Make sure the privacy documentation is in the sleeve before crating. Already done. This unit is fully compliant for the EU shipment. Aligning the new actuator now, AR confirms positioning. Securing the clamps. Torque looks good. And confirmed. Swap successful. Great work, team. Safe travels. See you when you get back. <laughs>